Welcome to tonight's installment of Browdy's Believe It or Not, the Trump edition. First up, do you believe Donald Trump is floating the idea that someone impersonated him on the infamous Access Hollywood tape to make him look bad? That's the same tape which he confirmed was legit last October. The New Yorker's satirist Andy Barwitz writes that Trump says it was really crooked Hillary. But in fairness, if you're looking for someone who knows something about impersonation, Donald Trump is your guy. Remember this? What's your name again? John Miller. I'm still in Hamlet, New York, because he gets so much of me. He, he's somebody that has a lot of options. And frankly, uh, you know, he gets called by everybody. He gets called by everybody in the book in terms of women. Sure he does. That's citizen Trump in 1991 calling a reporter pretending to be a PR rep for himself named John Miller. And speaking of the Trumps, which is virtually all we do here, take Ivanka, please. The businesswoman and first daughter went on an official trip to India this week to headline a conference with the theme of Women First, Prosperity for All, despite calls of hypocrisy over some of her own business practices. The Associated Press reports critics have faulted her for failing to use her leadership role to call out labor and human rights abuses, particularly in China, where the bulk of her U.S. merchandise ships from. What happened to America first? And they point out that she has failed to take a public stand on alleged abuses in her brand's own supply chain. Believe it or not, this is part of what Ivanka said at the summit. Only when women are empowered to thrive will our families, our economies, and our societies reach their fullest potential. Okay, and finally back in Washington, it's hard to believe that this is how Melania Trump decided to decorate the White House for Christmas. It appears she's waging the same war on Christmas that her husband is fighting. In this picture, tweeted out by the First Lady's Director of Communications, it's looking less like Christmas on Pennsylvania Avenue and more like Nightmare on Elm Street. And after the year Melania has had, I'm not so sure this isn't simply a cry for help.